everybody. It's me. I'm back again. I just wanted to, um, again, check in like always. I also am finally doing my influencer unboxing. Well, technically it's already unboxed, but I'm at least going to go over what exactly I got in it and how the program works because it's pretty cool. Um, anyhow, so I also hope that you liked my attempt at an interesting intro just experimenting a little bit. I thought I'd record me putting makeup on and hopefully you liked it. If you didn't, then always tell me in the comments if you didn't. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with stuff that I got from Influencer. So if you don't know what Influencer is, big shout out to Loey Lane. She got me into Influencer and I've already gotten a couple cool things from it. Basically, it is a program where you can um, based on your reach, like how many social networks you use, things like that, you get higher points, etc. Then you're more likely to get some of these things called Vox boxes. And what's really cool is they will send you full size items, and they'll give they'll have different um, themes and that sort of thing. Right now, it's um, oh, for goodness sake, I can't remember what it was. It was it's like hashtag find something new. Um, <laughs> well, oh, I'll be putting it in the comments anyway, or in the, you know, down there. But, um, anyway, so they send you some full-size items, and if you go ahead and, you know, you gotta tell everybody, obviously, that you're, you got these for free to test out, to review, which I'm telling you now, and, um, you basically just review them on your social sites, take pictures, tell everybody what you thought of them. And it helps. It helps them know which products are doing well, helps them know if they should continue on with the product, things like that. Anyway, long story short, you get free stuff, you just gotta review it. Yeah. Anyway, so this is what I got. So it was a Walgreens box box, and the two things that I got were a Caress body wash. Now it is Caress Fine Fragrance, 12 hour fragrance release. The smell is love forever. And its description for the body wash is a long lasting, unforgettable fragrance released on touch. So this is what it was. It's got a really pretty bottle. I like the shape of it. I always love Caress. Smell is really good. It's really fresh. It's got a hint of sweetness. And I don't know necessarily that it lasted for 12 hours, the smell, but I specifically used a lighter um, lotion that had no scent so that I could moisturize my skin but not affect this. Um, anyway, the smell that has, let's see, what do they say? The Love Forever scent is, it has. It's an unforgettable feminine fragrance with rich floriential sweetness of scarlet roses and dark lush berries. I definitely see that. And um, for a while throughout the day, I did kind of like, you know, touch myself, smell myself. And I do, throughout the day, I have kind of caught a hint of it. So it is, it is a nice light fragrance. It's not like you're going to be overwhelmed. Um, it's just if you wanted to have that nice hint of scent throughout the day. Anyway, I do like it a lot. It is very nice, and I always love free stuff. That's my fiance taking out his recycling. He might pop in for a second to say goodnight because he has to go to work. Um, anyway, next item I got. I got something from a company called Simple Sensitive Skin Experts. This is, well, first of all, here's a bottle. Nice little, it's a, um, Cleansing Micular Water? Micular? I don't know. I think it's Micular. And um, cleanses, removes makeup, and hydrates. Kind of skin. No harsh, no harsh chemicals. No artificial perfumes or dyes that can upset your skin. So there might be some things in there, but there's nothing in there that will upset your skin. This is a full bottle. Um, I like it. I wouldn't use it as an alone cleanser. I might use it like to remove my makeup before I do the actual face washing. I did have to do a couple of swipes 
to um, get it all off. So, um, yeah, but it's it definitely was a nice, um, sen nice sensitive skin cleansing liquid. But yeah, and smile. It's simple. <laughs> but yeah, that too I obviously got sent in order to review. Um, I don't get paid for it, but I do get the free stuff, so that's always nice. Yeah, okay. So, those are my awesome Voxbox Influencer items that I got. I really like them. Mm. I can seriously sit here and smell this stuff all day. It smells delicious. Okay. And then, just as an addition to this video, since it's only about five minutes long so far, and I usually go a little longer, I thought I'd review a few other things I like. Okay, so I have gotten into dry shampoo because I try not to wash my hair every single day because it can get a little bit worn out, frizzy, that sort of thing. So I've been looking at some dry shampoos. One of the ones people speak very highly of is Batiste. So I have two Batiste bottles. We have got this one is called Sassy and Daring Wild. It's even got like a little tiger scratch right there. Kind of cute. And then my favorite is Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. This one, let me tell you, is such a pain to find. It was the first one of these that I used and I had to go searching on Amazon for it. So you may have them in your local pharmacy, you may not, but um, my local pharmacy stopped carrying them. I love the smell of this one. What's great is it gives you just this very sweet cherry scented thing. You just put it along your roots, you know, rub it in. It'll leave like a small powder and when you rub it into your hair, that fades because it basically absorbs the oil. And then you can brush it through and yeah, it smells amazing. This one, not quite as much a fan. It still smells good though. I, I do like the smell of it, but um, again, yeah, I'm more of a fruity kind of person, so. Yeah, so for those, if you're looking for a dry shampoo, definitely look for Batiste. It smells amazing, and they work really, really well. You definitely don't feel so grody that you didn't wash your hair that day. All right, and sticking along the hair stuff. So, this is another brand that has become popular lately. It's called Not Your Mother's. These are Kinky Moves Curl Defining Conditioner and Curl Defining Shampoo. Supposed to be anti frizz, um, curl retention, low suds, cleansing, and it's sulfate free. So, oops, apparently that one's still a little up when I used to last. So, I really, 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 really wanted to like this. I did. The conditioner works like any conditioner, but um, what I don't like about this one is it says low suds. It smells amazing. So, this is what you get when it comes out of the bottle it's you know nice consistency it just it says low suds but it doesn't there's no suds at all it's not low suds it's just there's just no hint of bubbles nothing so you feel like you're just putting extra conditioner in your hair and for someone who shampoos their hair more every other day i really wouldn't recommend them because you know it doesn't really seem to fully cleanse my hair. I really love the smell and I'll use it on occasion. But, um, but yeah, now it's, if you sweat, I live in Arizona, so if you sweat at all and you need to just completely cleanse your hair, I mean, obviously we don't want to strip your hair of all of its nutrients, but yeah, this one, not so much. I mean, maybe I'm just not using it right. I might look it up and you know get some suggestions here and there. But for, for now, I love you guys, but you do not work for me. Which stinks. I wanted to find a no-sulfate shampoo because they all cause irritation. Um, I do recommend the, um, it's like a, the Kinky Moves. It's a control cream. It's some sort of cream. It looks, looks just like this. It's a smaller bottle. Um, it's for... It's, it's like a curl cream of sorts. That works really well. That's amazing. I really do like this company. I'm going to probably try some of their other stuff. Um, like they had this really cool like 
ocean water kind of scent but um anyway so yeah so i mean go ahead and give it a try but um and yours like mine just doesn't work i'm rambling all right on to some skin stuff so being in my almost 30s i'm gonna be 30 in about two three months well it's april may june birthdays in june um you start to feel like you know, it's like, oh, well, there's a wrinkle there, or oh, there's a wrinkle there. And while I don't have a lot of that sort of stuff, I'm with putting makeup on and everything, I've gotten a little paranoid, I guess. I just want to take care of my skin so it looks nice for a long time. Um, I decided to try, I, I had someone suggest some hyaluronic acid serum. No, no, acid is kind of scary, but basically. It's this stuff that is supposed to, it actually helps to, you know, fade wrinkles, tightens up your skin. Um, I definitely wouldn't use it by itself. You basically wash your face, put it on like a regular serum. Um, I personally use a different serum with it, but um, this has vitamins A, C, D, and E. It's anti-aging. The one that I got, well, there you go, you can take a look at it. Um, it's from Nikki Marie Natural Skin Care. I got it on Amazon, and, you know, I've liked it. I have. I do have to use a moisturizer with it, but, um, here, hold on one second. Gotta say, that my fiance. Okay. I'm back. Now where were we? Yeah, so, I do recommend this. Check it out on Amazon. If you feel like you want to try out a serum. This one definitely didn't seem to, like, over dry my skin. It didn't do anything. It didn't... Losing my train of thought. Yeah, no, so that's a good start. Um, it's always worth trying. It wasn't too expensive. I don't remember the price, but um, I will definitely put a link down there for it on Amazon. The other thing I've been doing is I've been trying to find some stuff that might fade some of my scars here and there. I mean, I've got like a scar from an incident I had with my rabbit's cage. <laughs> I tripped over it in my wide leg pants because those were in style then. And I hopped on one foot, slammed my head against my wooden TV stand, and split my eyebrow open. <laughs> Ten stitches, but... So, anyway, I'm looking for ways to kind of fade scars and, you know, fade some of the acne marks I have here and there. Not really that noticeable to anybody but me, I guess, but... Yeah. So I found out that Palmer's Cocoa Butter brand, Palmer's brand Cocoa Butter, came out with a skin therapy oil. I've actually been using this instead of a moisturizer. It's really nice. It's you don't want to overuse it because if you use too much, you're gonna end up with a you know a shiny, greasy face. I can't emphasize that enough. This is basically Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E skin therapy oil, and it's specifically the one for the face. Let's see, skin restorative oils along with natural cocoa butter retinol and vitamin C deliver multi-purpose anti-aging skin benefits. I've heard that retinol is really good. You can actually get like the really major brand prescribed to you, but I'm not that obsessed. <laughs> I just wanted something easy and over the counter. Um, this is an oil. So again, I definitely don't want to use too much of it. I wouldn't use more than like a dime sized dollop, depending on like how dry your skin is. Smooth it over skin, avoid the eyes. You know, use your usual eye cream. Yeah, and just make sure that before you put makeup on or anything, you let it sit, and it'll be good. Um, yeah, but you know, things like retinol and all that; those are very another anti-aging thing that are really good for your skin. And I, like I said, I'm gonna be 30 soon, and I'm just trying to, yeah, you know, feel like I'm doing something to prevent my skin from looking too old. <sighs> Alright, well that's all the stuff that I got. Let me just line it up right here. You can see it all. So those are all the things I reviewed. I will definitely at least put the names down below because some of them you can get online, some of them... I mean, most of them I'm sure you can get online. But, um... A lot of them you can get in places like Walgreens, like 
like the caress and the simple those should both you can both you can find both of those at Walgreens that's the company that's actually um, having us review these and um, got these at CVS got this online got some at Target online Target but or Ulta anyway so I will put a list of all the products I reviewed today if you have any questions about any of the makeup that I was putting on in my attempt at an interesting review um, just leave a comment or you can send me a Twitter um, I have a list of all of my social accounts down below if you like this give me a thumbs up and then if you'd like to see what other cool things I can review when I've got the extra money you can also you know subscribe there should be a little link linky poo somewhere around here and then there's always the one that's down there um, anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great weekend and a great night. Bye.